I've decided to hide hide my tears behind cutting onions. And if you're at all wondering about the authenticity of this video, yes! I always cut onions in my basement and my desk wearing gaming headphones. Don't judge me! Yesterday we had a bit of an interesting story on AR12Gaming.com. Toyota's not gonna be in Forza Motorsport 7. And that sucks. So, let's rewind a bit, and I can give you the backstory as to all of this happened, my thoughts, what I think happened, and talk about the future a little bit. So, yesterday. Yesterday was the week 3 car reveal for Forza Motorsport 7, where they go in and they announce a big group of cars. Week 1 was obviously like a bunch of supercars, week 2 was the vintage classics, and week 3 was some JDM stuff. So that's like Acuras, Acuras... I'm not talking about that again. Nissan, Subaru, Mazda, all of those awesome cars. And then there was a glaring thing missing. Toyota. I know the Arctic truck was included. I will get into that in a little bit. But Toyota, where's the Supra? Where's the A86? And where and where's the MR2? Where are all of those? Well, we reached out to Forza Motorsport and we asked them a question. We were like, hey Forza, where's Toyota? Why is there no Supra in the game? And on behalf of Turn 10 Studios, a Microsoft spokesperson said this. While Toyota production vehicles will not be included in the game, there will be a number of Toyota race cars featured in Forza Motorsport 7. Look for that list later this summer. So basically, what they're saying there is there's going to be no Supra, no GT86, no AD86, MR2, Corolla, uh, Celica, none of those included in Forza Motorsport 7. Now, I shared this on Twitter yesterday, so if you follow me on there, props to you, you heard about this news a little bit early, and I got a lot of tweets from a lot of people being like, that's it, I'm not buying Forza Motorsport 7, these people are gonna make a super DLC in like two months. Alright, I wanna, uh, let's talk about some things. Let's rewind the clocks a little bit. Talk about Volkswagen from Forza Horizon 3. Obviously that was not included in Forza Horizon 3, and although nothing's been publicly said as to why Volkswagen wasn't included in Forza Horizon 3, I think we can all agree because it was because Volkswagen had some bigger problems by cheating emissions and things. We won't talk about that as a Volkswagen owner myself. Obviously, Volkswagen was not included in Forza Horizon 3, and to be honest, on the surface, it seems like it was Volkswagen's choice. They had bigger problems. And obviously, we never saw a Volkswagen DLC, which, I mean, kind of sucks because I really like Volkswagens and they weren't in what I think is the best Forza game ever made. But at the same time, it's like, okay, yeah, I, I, I see. If we rewind the clocks even further and we talk about Porsche, because I know some people are like, hey, you charge for a Porsche expansion for so many years. That was a bit of a different story. That was because, although again, nothing has been publicly said, EA owned the license for Porsche for a long, long time, i.e. the Porsche game and all the Porsches included in those games. But the problem was is that any other game that wanted to feature Porsches needed to pay a license to EA or to Porsche. Again, I don't know the details of these contracts, but they had to pay them to put their cars in the game, which sucks because then somewhere that money needs to come from and it came from us because we needed to buy an expansion every year. And to be honest, I don't think that's going to be the case for Toyota. They said they will just not feature them. So what's going on at Toyota for them to be like, no, no games. It might just be another way of thinking. I don't know. Maybe they're trying something else out that's different, but I don't know. Like I can tell you firsthand after meeting a lot of the devs who work on these games, these guys at their core are hardcore car fans. Like, they are insane guys when it comes to it. They're not just gonna take out the Supra, one of the most popular cars, and just be like, yeah, we'll charge you for that. They're, they're not gonna do that. They wanna drive around in these cars as much as anyone else does. And it's just, it really sucks that Toyota's not gonna be in the game. And if you ask me, it really, really doesn't make sense. Think about it this way. How many games have you driven what is your favorite car in? For me personally, go back to my Forza 4 videos. You will see me whipping around in a bunch of Golfs and a bunch of Subarus. And what happened? Now I have two bright blue things sitting outside of my driveway. And it's because of these games, honestly. These games have made me fall in love with these cars. And I can guarantee it is the same thing for so, so many of you guys. So for Toyota to just be like, nah, we're not gonna do games. We're just gonna lose out on all those people who might have fallen in love with our cars. It really doesn't make sense to me. 
we didn't get a reason from Turn 10 or Microsoft or anyone as to why, but it sucks and there's something going on behind the scenes, I can guarantee you that. So, to talk about some other things, the Arctic truck, that was included in the list. And I think there's something funny going on with the license for that, because obviously that's an Arctic truck uh, first, and then a Toyota, so I guess they can sort of sneak around the Toyota licensing and chuck in the Arctic truck. Like I said, I don't know the details of all of these contracts and all of these deals that go on behind the scenes, but the Arctic truck may not be a Toyota, Sorta of, kinda, of, air quotes. Also, that brings me to another manufacturer, Lexus. Is there gonna be no Lexus in Forza Motorsport 7 either? If you go onto the website right now and you look at all of the lists of uh, cars that we've seen in Forza Motorsport 7, there, there is no Lexus in there. And that gets me a little worried because not only then would be, we be losing Supra's A86s, we would be losing the ISF, the RCF, and the Lexus LFA. Not to mention all of the other cars Lexus makes, which again, sucks. Again, obviously we don't know the details of all of these deals and things like that. I mean, Volkswagen owns Porsche and Audi and Bugatti and Lamborghini and a bunch of other manufacturers, and they were all in Forza Horizon 3. So all I can really do is cross my fingers and hope that Lexus comes in, even with the lack of Toyota. So please. In their statement, they said that race cars would be included, though. They, they specifically pointed out no production cars. But that means there are going to be some Toyota race cars. Obviously, there are a bunch of really, really good Toyota race cars. We're using one of them in the AR12 Racing Championship, the race that's happening this Saturday. Yeah, luckily, that's going to be in the game. But Toyota also makes NASCARs, and I guess those don't count as production cars either, so... Again, fingers crossed those come in as well. So, my message to Toyota, if you're watching this for whatever reason, please come back. Please. On, on behalf of, I think, everyone, please come back. So yeah, obviously all we can do now is just wait and see what that list of race cars includes. Uh, we do already know Danny G has hinted towards uh, a race car reveal week happening at some point in the future, so hopefully, we find out a bunch of Toyotas uh, on that list. Uh, hopefully that includes some NASCARs as well. I would love that. Anyways, on that bombshell, I guess we will leave it there. And my onions that I've cut now made a mess all over my desk. If there are any updates to this story, I will make sure to let you guys know in a video. So make sure you subscribe for that. I will also have some brand new Forza 7 gameplay coming out for you guys soon. And as well, a very, very exclusive giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to see what you guys think. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!